Kenneth Okonkwo, a Nollywood veteran and the spokesperson for the Presidential Campaign Council of the Labour Party in the Southeast, has been suspended along with many others, many state chairmen of the party. And this suspension is coming from, should I call it a faction of the Labour Party or a group in the Labour Party that is under the Alahaji Bashiru Lamidi Apapa. And this is a faction or a supposed chairman that Peter Obi said recently, I have never sat down with him one-on-one -on -one discussing. And this is a man we have never seen in the Labour Party during the campaigns, during the elections. He just appeared after uh, the election and um, a case has been instituted in the election petitions tribunal by P2B. Suddenly, Lamida Papa was all over the place claiming that he is the rightful chairman of the party. And that has given a lot of vent to the suspicion that this man is playing a game that is being sponsored by opposition party to kind of scatter the Labour Party. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to our channel so that you will always get our updates directly in your inbox. We will get into the details of this now. So there was 12 members that were suspended in one go for alleged anti-party activities and, hear it, unruly behavior against Alahaj Bashiru Lamida Papa led the Labour Party. He says he's the, the chairman. And the offence also included issuing a statement without the authority of the party. Okay? That is the authority of Lamidi and Papa. So they held a National Executive Council meeting on Wednesday. And those suspended included the acting National Publicity Secretary, Comrade Obio Raifu, one of the spokespersons for the Presidential Campaign Council, Kenneth Okonkwa, as I've mentioned, and you have had the offense on ruling behavior towards Mr. Papa and anti-party activities. The suspension came in a communique that was issued by the National Executive Council meeting that was held in Bauchi State by the Lamid Apapa faction. LP has two National Executive Council. One was held in Benin the other time, and now this one is happening in or happened in Bauchi, and they have kicked out a lot of people. It's quite a long list. I'll try to read them the names out to you. You might know some of them. In the comic said that in the next session they also consider the action of 12 of his members, namely Obio Raifo, which is the publicity secretary, Kenneth Okonkwo, the spokesperson. There is this pastor, Mrs. Adebayo Ekong. There is Comrade P.G. Igene, engineer Adeola Adebanjo, Pastor Funke Awolowo, Sam Emeka Okpala, Barrister Folusho Lei, Fola Kemi Collins, and Comrade Olubumi Adesanya. Lonre Adenuga, Dr. Olatu Bosu Oswald, for their antipathy activities. All these people have been suspended. A papa's group also gave out another press release saying that because many of them attended that meeting in Edo State, which was illegal, they have managed to forgive P2B for attending that meeting and the other people. Do you see what is going on in Labour Party? Is this normal? I can't believe this because if this is Labour Party that we knew before this uh, election and everything, this kind of thing should be 
sorted out in house. They didn't stop there. They also suspended the National Working Committee members and state chairmen and secretaries that attended the NIC meeting convened by Barrister Julius Abudre on 18th April 2023 in a not in a do state, Delta state, over what they describe as um, content of the Federal Capital Territory High Court order that restrained Abure from parading himself as the national chairman of the party. Is this not ridiculous? You suspend, I understand that the meeting at Asaba, all the state chairmen of the Labour Party attended this meeting. So, this Lamidia Papa is now suspending 36 state chairman of uh, Labour Party and the secretaries. So who is he going to work with? Where is the Labour Party if you suspend all these people? Where? I don't know how he wants to do it. Is he going to conduct the election today and uh, get all new state chairmen in all the states, 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 six states in Nigeria? This is, this man has something that is really, really doing. And this is not the best way to go about it. You can lobby, you can talk about new election. Let's see who supports you. How can you support or suspend all these state chairmen and you succeed? Well, he said they reaffirmed and upheld the decision of the Ogun State Executive of Labour Party that earlier he spared Mr. K. Inde Shogunle, Engineer King Pelu Shogunle, Engineer Lukmon Jagun Abiodu, Mr. Tokumbo Peters Bukola Shogoye. So many names are here over their failure to pay membership dues over six months. Thus, contravening a section of the uh, Constitution of the Labour Party. Wow. He said the NEC in session suspended all National Working Committee members and state chairmen and secretaries. Yes. So, the question is, what is going on in this party? This man, we never noticed him. We never saw him until after the election petition was filed and the APC that was brought uh, to that uh, election tribunal, uh, um, I mean, doing everything to persuade Pito Bito withdraw that petition, to just fall in line, say that, okay, Tinubu should be crowned, we all agree with that, let's forget whatever happened. That's when this Papa appeared. And the Labour Party continued to say that he is the one that is being engineered by the APC. They said they held a meeting and the Labour Party is saying, we saw the hotels where all these people lodged during this meeting. And we know from what we know that these men cannot from their pockets pay for the kind of hotel that they stayed to conduct these meetings. So the question is, who is paying the piper? Because we are told when we are studying English that he who pays the piper dictates the tune. Who is the person paying for Lamidi, a papa, to stay in a four-star hotel, five-star hotel, when he is a very simple worker? Who is financing this? Who is sponsoring these people? And that is the question. And that is why the Labour Party says the APC is the one paying the piper and they are dictating the tune. Unfortunately, all the efforts might, I mean, it can do some damage, but the main um, intention is to withdraw the petition of the party in the presidential election tribunal. But I think Lamy the Papa and his group cannot succeed in doing that because that petition was filed in the name of P2B and then the Labour Party. To withdraw that petition, both parties must agree 
and the sign in order to make it legitimate and legal that the case can be withdrawn. If that is the intention, is dead on arrival. If the intention is probably to cause more confusion in the um, Labour Party and achieve one or more goals, well, we see how far they can go with this. We understand that another case is in court and that a new judgment is coming to really uh, settle the matter of Julius Abure and whatever and whoever will be the chairman of the Labour Party. This is where we bring this to an end and we will also tell you the reaction from the Julius Abre side of the Labour Party. We ask you please like the video, share it, subscribe and we will see you in our next update.